rugby has been a phenomenal across an entertaining morning here, Carlton. Nah, nah, and you have enjoyed, no doubt, what you've seen. Yeah, it's been outstanding. First few games already. Sean, I'm really looking forward to this next one. Fiji, really interested to see how they go. A lot of new faces in there, a lot of old faces as well. No one to get off to a good start, I'm sure. So here is how you can run up points in this, possibly, in fact, the most important of all the Sevens World Series. There are Olympic qualifying spots on the line. If you finish in the top four, you're good to go for Rio. Yeah, exactly right. So all these teams will be aware of that. And they want to put their best foot forward. No, no. They need to get off to a good start and Gold Coast is the opportunity. Yep. To on the Blitzbocker legend from South Africa made a big point of it. Said they can set the tone. Teams can set the tone here on the Gold Coast. And speaking of setting the tone, Carla, there's a bit of Mario Kart action there for you, Carl. You like the Mario Kart? I do indeed. I yes. do indeed. Wish it was looking like that. <laughs> and uh, I think we've got some superheroes. Well, I like to see a mask on if you're going to do the Batman thing. I don't know if the straw hat goes with the Batman shirt, Carl. Oh, That'll work, though. Exactly right. Isn't it great, though? Eh? He's back again. This guy's the number one supporter of Carl Tanata. <laughs> All the action between feet and Scotland. Look, big upsets this morning, most noticed. Turner rolling England in game one now to see. We'll see. Portugal and Australia in it. And here is the lineups. Who should we call? Well, Scotland there. Experience and Waddell and Colin is how he's so good in defence. That's what, as you spoke about earlier, setting the tone. That's something that he does extremely well. Well, overall, Fiji dominate. Dominate in terms of wins against Scotland. Played 34, Fiji 28, Scotland the six wins. And the last time these two sides faced off, it was Fiji coming out on top. 17 points to 10, that was in Glasgow earlier this year. As the men from Fiji will come together. Lovely shots. And they are an entertainment machine. The Fijians. If you're new to sevens, these uh, guys you should no doubt keep an eye on and enjoy it. Yeah, they really do play the game at high pace. And Anthony Moyes will have to be on song and stretch his hammies because this ball will get a lot of movement, I'm sure. Scotland, on the other hand, sure, they'll want to be physical, try and slow it down, go to the set piece and play it at their speed. Well, can they shackle these flying Fijians? You're watching on from Suva or up in Scotland. Welcome to the show as your sides get off and running here point. in the glorious sunshine on the Gold Coast in Australia. And straight off the bat, Fiji get away with Kalinisau. Now on the switch to Rumawai. All the running and the flick out the back. They'll do well to keep it in. And they do just that. And the over the top Tom Brady pass back in field, if you like NFL, as Carlton Nana does. <laughs> You'll have enjoyed that. Here they come again, the Fijians. A little over the top. And the big fan, whack off that, says Kunatani. And he's under the sticks for the Fijians first. Oh! Oh, my goodness. He was under the sticks. He was all but in the frame and locked up. Unbelievable. Lexadaisical here from... Fiji, Kunatani, thought he was a get that in your son. <laughs> Lee Joe's not on my time, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we saw it last year with Cameron Clark flipping one of the Kenyan players in the end goal, and now that is going to make Blue Perils the world <laughs> over, Carl. Oh, deserved Fine. to try. They did so well to Fiji. They went back 40. They went forward 50. No one there, and I think okay. that just shows Agreed. Fiji on their day. They're brilliant, but other times not so. What would Crouch. Ben Ryan, their coach, be thinking after seeing that? Well, I hope he didn't have a shot because Fine. I'm sure he would have had a few Set. choice words for them. Oh, Semi Kunatani. Couldn't finish it off. Still the pressure comes from the Fijians. Good work there from Lee Jones. He forced the tackle and now has his side just outside of their Let's try line. The the However, penalty against Scotland. 
Here he is, Kunitani goes again and now gets a lovely little pop back on the inside. This time they get it right. Rawatha has Fijians first. Yeah, well he puts it down with authority on this occasion, does Rawatha. So tough to stop that close to the line. You've got big men who can offload like this. First is Kunitani. And then a second one from Sakao. Would have been interesting. This will be the shot to see, Sean, whether he actually got this planted. Not so let's watch it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. This is more great try line defence, and they've got away with one there, the Fiji. And great scrambling defence again. Gregor, it was the number five, just loses the handle. Does the one start, but they'll. Bit of fortune shining on. The crowd fade out about that. Wherever this is. Ben's good run too from Dua. Straightening into the line, Robertson. Lee Jones has had a great start to this match. Little short, sharp pass on. Here they come again. Will he have the gas to go all the way to Y? They'll need to go again with another pop. Up and go. Can you believe it? They've butchered another. Oh, again, it deserved it. One knocks this on. He was in for all money. They do call it on this occasion. Here's the back end of it. Good scrambling defense. Who was that? Scott, right? The captain. Goes around the ankles. Places it. Nothing wrong with that. Knock on there. Well, defense has been superb from Scotland. And it's all been, for the most part, on their own line or behind it. Seven points to nil, though. Fiji lead. Fine. Set. Good pressure at the back from Fiji. We're lucky to get away with that one. Scotland and now they chance their arm through Johnston. And opt to clear it through the boot. That'll relieve the pressure, but for just a brief moment because they are loaded up and looking to cause some trouble here. And trouble it is that comes towards scratch line. It is Kalini Sal. Oh, that's the Pearlite. He's a happy camper. He's in. Well, great work there from 2 Y getting back in the number nine jersey. Chase that kick. Scotland, they give up possession. And they get stunned for it. The captain, Kalini Sal, goes over. This will be a good look at it. Look at two wide, was the one setting it up, the right foot step. There's two defenders there. Good ball play. And then look at that. Athlete emotion, power. Colini Sal personified. So explosive. So happy to have his first try at the Gold Coast Sevens. And he's Fiji. Chipping through. And he's the try scorer, Colini Sal, who adds the. Additional two, and it is Fiji 14 leading Scotland nil. Yeah, now it's an important part for me, Sean. This kickoff, Scotland just need to get their hands on the ball. Let's go, let's no possession up. whatsoever. They haven't even been in the Fiji in half. Maybe once for a line out, and that's it. So they just got to get their hands on the ball. Well weighted and well Don't tapped back. On, on we go. The men in white doing all the damage. Early on, Kalini Sao loops it long and wide to Ramawai. Broke the first tackle. Now pops cleverly to the man on the outside. That's great. Heads up into play from Fiji. And again, over the top. Extraordinary passing in contact by the Fijians, and now they rip it to the left hand side. Here's Fakau chancing his arm down the left touch line. It's come loose. Scotland can breathe easy for a few moments. Number one. That'll help. Hands off the ground. Here they come on the counter. Scotland chasing their first points of the tournament. Back inside was Gregor. 
Got through the line. Nice work, Gregor. And now a chance for Scotland down the right-hand side. Through Diwa. Goes back into Lee Jones. He has been his team's best. No doubt about that in the opening half. And he will grab Scotland's first try. Well, for all their domination, Fiji... Scotland are only going to find themselves seven points behind after this conversion is taken. Lee Jones got his team right back in it. Again, Colin Gregor always amongst it from here. A very tired Fijian unit. have had to do not much tackles, to be honest. Look very, very tight. A lot of hands on hips. No one chasing back. And that's some reward for some great defence in the first seven minutes for Scotland. Down she goes from Jones, who saved seven at the other end early in the game with an unbelievable try-saving tackle. And, and at half-time, it is 14 points to seven in favour of Fiji over Scotland. Take a quick breather and... Get a word with the Scottish camp. Too much work to do. We've got good shape. We're numbering off and we're playing safe. Okay, once you're numbered off, go forward. Okay, make, commit to it. Okay, uh, two fucking great scrambles. Okay, two great scrambles. But you have to... Is there a reason why if we get a line break, I shouldn't see two more white shirts, so it's threes all the time? And said he was there at the end. There was only one man with it. I told you that your lungs are going to be hurting in this first game. We let them back in the game now. You need to look after the ball. You need to work hard as you breathe. Got that? Can you look me in the eye properly, please? Come in tight today. You've given them a chance. You need to be absolutely on the money. Remember all those hard sessions we've had. Now put them away now and be clinical and be ruthless. So, excellent audio there from our production crew to get all of Ben Ryan's words and they got all of Callum McRae, the Scottish coach's words as well and there were a few uh, a few naughty naughty ones in there so we're going to send our co-commentator Willie Losse sideline to have a quick chat to Callum and say no more of that. Yeah we do apologise for that but two very different messages Ben Ryan being well shall we say he could actually be a good check, I think. Not about the colour choice there for the for the soft Sean, pink and blue. It's the Gold Coast way, Carl. <laughs> Got to bring a bit of a bit of flair, a bit of mojo and flair to the Goldie. And that's just what the Fijians brought in the first half in patches in Scotland too. Well, I'll be very interested if Scotland. Are able to score first in this game. Here's Sean. Great take from the restart from Scotland. But on the move is Jones. He's brought down by Polini Sal. Held off marks up there. Under the body. Hold on. Here they come. Fiji. Just biding their time, keeping themselves set to launch a long range raid on Scotland. Their ability to stand in the tackle and get passes away is something to behold. As the dummy down the left touchline from Rawatha is brought down, and they'll do well to keep it in field. They do just that. Rawatha goes over the top, and now a couple of men on the outside who will look to open up Scotland and. Another great pop ball up off the deck. Man on the outside is going to run in his second try. And Fiji are running hot. Yeah, the captain goes over for his double of the game, Kalini Sal. He can take that try back to a nice release pass. On this near side of the field, it's a good 30 metre one. There it is there. And from that point, they always had the numbers on the outside once this guy got the ball away. I think it was Ramu White in a two-on-one situation. Colony South is always going to win that. So it's Fiji who strike first in the second half and they lead 21 points to seven. Sorry. That's 
some subs coming on for the Fijian team. We're right to go. Okay. This is the most kick important kickoff for both teams. Fiji are able to get position back and score back to back while I'm thinking of open right up Scotland. They desperately need the pill some points as well. Excellent work once more from Scotland there. Restarts have been a feature, however. The Fijian defence got there and forced the penalty. Oh, the tap over the top, and this will be a beauty. Oh, yes! The bat back over the top, and it'll be Ravuvu. And again, it was the captain who just scored the last try with that magical tip on play, Sean. The number eight, Ravuvu is the one. He's got to get his name in the score sheet, but he could easily scrub it out and put the captain, Colini Sal, and his name down for giving that last pass. Making it easy for the conversion. He adds the two to his five and makes it seven. And it is Fiji 28, leading Scotland seven. Do they bring plenty of verve, don't they, Carl? The Fijian supporters everywhere they go. Yeah, always heavily supported. Here we go, Scotland. Great take, Scott White. In the way there, not through the gate. And again, Scotland march on. Jones can't bring it in. It's hacked away in a touch. Everyone will have a, a brief breather. Well, that's one area I think I've seen Fiji really improve, and that's at the breakdown. Right They're challenging there. They're getting numbers to the ball. We heard about Ben Ryan talking about working in three, so they're going to that breakdown. They're having two challenge the ball. A half Step back across. there as well. Here they come, Scotland. Looking to put themselves back on the board after Lee Jones scored just before half time. Speaking of that man, Jones, he gets his off and running. Great cover tackle there from Nunga Lebu. Superb work at the breakdown from Fiji. Nunga Lebu again. Oh, that's quite unbelievable. Oh, get right out of town. <laughs> How did he do that? Extraordinary from Fiji. And that man on screen has a hat trick. Oh, aren't they beautiful to watch when, the, when they're in full flight, the Fijians? They're confident at the moment. Here's Nunga Levu chucking it out the back door. Just look at the support players around there. Ben Ryan said he wants to. Support players there when anyone goes over the try line, it's been a difference in the second half. They've been operating at a different level. Well, this is one for the highlight reels all the way around. Extraordinary. How tough is that to do? Oh, oh. Mate. Well, I tell you, from personal experience, it's hard to defend when you've got guys that can move like that, pass like that. I've just taken it to another level after giving a rev up at half time. So three tries for. Say it, Kalini And right off the restart, they're going to go in again, Fiji. They are on fire in the sunshine. Yeah, they're heating it up, that's for sure. Wanga Tabu is the one that gets his name on the score sheet, but well taken. And the kickoff, Kalini Sao putting it on a dime for his jumper. Kind of Tony Bao gives the easy pass to Wanga Tabu. You can hear the screams of supporters in the background. Are oh, they sending the message to Fijians with this one? Time off. Who's number four? 40 points to seven. Fiji leads Scotland with okay. under a minute to go here in this Pool C matchup. Just a reminder that the locals, the Aussies, are on Come their on. way. Taking on Portugal soon. They're all part of the full C lineup here. 
Play advantage, lost forward. Advantage is over. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. You're going to get yourself 45 sevens games, and each and every one of them are going to provide you with a memory or a bit of skill to talk to your buddies about. This is good stuff. Jones again. Basketball pass. Still live for Scotland. Get the pass away. Down the right touch line it is. Lewis Young. Back to Riddell. No advantage. Anthony Moyes takes us back to the high tackle. Messy ball there. On the line. What a Scottish team be thinking line. about for and against as well because even though they're getting flogged in this game, they're still in the chance to make in the semi finals tomorrow or the finals, quarter finals, sorry. So a lot on the line still. And the set play doesn't really go to plan for Scotland and looks like Fiji might try and rub it in a little bit more. It's all in slow motion. They're exhausted through 14 minutes in the sunshine. Cheeky little kick in behind. Real cheeky. There's the two sevens clash. Ravuvu. Push in the back. And his opposite number, Hoyland. They're out on their feet. Deservedly so. Sapping conditions. Does well to stay in field and stay on his feet there. The Scottish Six, who is Mark Robertson. to injury time but that's a great bit of footwork there and again Scotland are wrapped up on the halfway line terrific run from Rory Hughes knocked on and Anthony Moyes says that'll do game seven is all wrapped up and it is the Fijians off to a fantastic start they showcase some real razzle-dazzle, some real skill. Then Ryan goes without the handshake on that occasion. And it's full-time, Fiji 40, Scotland 7. And we our next game on the way, and it's my great pleasure to introduce Greg Clark into the central commentary position. Thank you, Sean. Alongside me is Greg Martin. Well, it's pretty hot out there now, Greg. And now we have Australia and Portugal both making their first appearance at the Gold Coast Sevens. And the Australians, the starting seven you can see there, are all backing up from the bronze medal performance of the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in 2014. Ed Jenkins is the captain, the most experienced, 32nd tournament now for Ed Jenkins. Seven, Cameron Clark made the World Series Dream Team last year. Stenard. Another regular in the team there as well. The new coach and Garrett John Welshman, who spent a long time in the Canadian rugby system, coaching the Canadian Sevens, and he was assistant in the 15s as well.